Shalom, shalom. The real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, I would like to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Now, what you're looking at, if you brothers remember, a movie came out a couple of years ago called 12 Years a Slave from uh, Solomon up north. Which this uh this was chronicled uh, in the book in 1853 and got turned into a movie uh about a couple of years ago honestly i don't know if it was 2016 2017 uh i don't remember at this moment but this from uh from escapade and charles all right this whole this this whole little I'm gonna say from three blocks that way all the way over here. This was a, uh, a slave market, all right? All this. All right, this is where they sold the slaves at, okay? So, you know, if you can imagine back then, mid 1800s, a lot of dirt, dirt roads. You know, you know, like the elders say, put, uh, put yourself in a, in a movie, put yourself in a situation, all right? So, What's funny about this is, let me cross the street and let, let's go read this other, all right? And, and all I was thinking, we, man, we was just in slavery not too long ago, man. All right? So let's, uh, let's check this out. All right, now this is an old picture, all right? This, this whole block used to be nothing but where they sold slaves at, right? So it says, in 1806, the U.S. Congress abolished the international slave trade, contributing to a significant increase in domestic slave trade. All right? So just slaves being sold here in America, or trafficking of human beings without the boundaries of the United States during the uh, 57 years that followed, an estimated 2 million men, women, and children were separated from their families, forcibly moved, uh, moved by slave traders and owners. The largest number were brought from the... Uh, Upper South and Lower South via overland and water routes. New Orleans was the center of this trade, resulting in more than 50 domestic sites. Uh, more, in, uh, more enslaved people were sold here from slave pens, public squares, government buildings, church properties. Listen, this is where the slaves were sold at. Let me say it again. All right. From slave pens, all right, public squares. And this, this used to be a public square, man. All right here, this used to be a public square. All right, public squares, um, church properties, <laughs> city taverns where you go drink. All right, private residence, auction houses, and even ballrooms of luxury hotels than anywhere in the U.S. Now, this is what they did to Jake, man. All right, it said what? Over two million men, women, children were separated from their families, man. So what does that make you think about? It's so like, because now I'm getting kind of pissed off reading this again, all right? So uh, like a church like this, that's what Jake was fucking sold at. Uh, houses like that. You know, some of these houses have been around since the 1800s, man. All right, I'm over here in New Orleans right now. But what did that make you think of? Deuteronomy 28th chapter, man. Deuteronomy 28th chapter, man. Okay? Now, I'm going to take a little walk, a little stroll, all right? Deuteronomy 28th chapter. It says what? Your children should be separated from your bowels, and your eyes should long from them. And there should be no power or might in your hand. All right? And I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing. But th that's basically what happened. And that was what? 1850 fucking uh, three. All right? I, hey, listen, I was born in 1990. My father was born in 1934, which means his, I think his father was born maybe 1910. So that would be my grandfather. My great grandfather, I, I, I believe, had to be born 1870. So my great great had to be around, you know, 1850. I, I know this. My great great grandparents, I believe my father had a, a little still shot. I know he said his grandmother or his great grandmother, all right, was picking cotton. That was not that fucking long ago, man. At fucking all. All right? And, and, and let's flip the switch. You coming today, a lot of these niggas still like being niggas, man. 
A lot of people forget about the fucking history that Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans went through. And not only that, it's New Orleans. You know, a lot of natives were sold down here, man. A lot of native Indian tribes were sold down here, man. All right? You know, now, now I'm, I'm making my way to the French market, but the, hey, a lot of these buildings, you can see, a lot of these buildings are from, shit, the mid-1800s, man. All right? So fast forward to the 21st century. Nigga, we was just slaves not too long ago, and a lot of niggas forget about that aspect, man. All right, in the mid 1800s, what's up, bro? Mid mid 1800s, we were still in slavery. All right. Look at today. Now listen. Solomon uh, Norfolk, which that's a spiritual name. His name was Solomon. All right. Let's view let's view this today, right? That man thought he was free. Now through the spirit, he wasn't. Because what the Deuteronomy 28, 68 says, it says, no man shall uh, free you, which means no man will redeem you. So uh, 2020 right now, you Israelites are still in captivity, man. Is Israel a homeborn slave? All right. And the Lord, hey, the, the Lord uh, allowed this to happen to us, man, because what we did. But I say all that to say this. None of us is free. All right. Hey, like Isaiah say. This man has not opened the, uh, uh, the prison houses, man. He hasn't let the prisoners go. And who's the prisoners? You Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And not only that, all right? And this, this is another thing, too. They, they got so many <laughs> hidden alleys, all right, uh, down here in New Orleans, how they was following uh, slaves, all types of shit. But... Uh, Back to what I'm saying. Hey, hey, none of you guys, none of us is free, man. I said no man should redeem you, man. So even today, 2020, all right, I believe it's uh, March the 14th, I don't know, whatever. All right, whatever the day is, another fucking day in fucking hell, all right? We still in captivity, man. All right? To this day. So although he was a man from New York City, he came down here to Louisiana. He, he, he thought, he's, no, nigga, you ain't free. This so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Straight up. And if, if niggas can't see that shit, they, they out their goddamn mind. All right? This is a sad-ass fucking story. We was just in fucking slavery in the mid-1800s. Like, Damn. Now you, you you do the math. How long have we been out of slavery? Not that fucking long. Not that fucking long. That's what the Lord says what he said, man. Uh he said the uh the iniquity is accomplished, your daughter of Zion, man. Alright? And, and that's speaking more prominent ever than now. Alright, it's old ass church from the 1800s. Alright. You see? And, and what did that sign just say? Slaves were sold at churches. All right. <laughs> I can imagine they had a lot of slaves over there in that bull pen, damn now. All right. And these, these are the streets of New Orleans, man. Imagine it back during that time. All right. And these buildings still standing, man. All right. When you fast forward to fucking 2020, these niggas are out they goddamn mind, man. Straight up. I've been walking down fucking bourbon the other day. Black these fucking Israelite women taking their titties out, showing these fucking Edomites, so on and so forth. Just being unruly, alright? Unmodest. Alright. And that they don't even remember, you know, these bitches taking off their tops, get beads and shit. They don't even remember that bitch, you ain't used to get beads for that. Esau used to put your ass in, uh, on these markets, butt ass fucking naked, taking you from your families, all right? Taking you from your uh, uh, families, okay? And selling your ass, doing whatever he wants or desires unto you, okay? But y'all all forget about that, man, okay? Hey, man, look, man. 
this used to be a, a slaver's market, man. All right. Yeah, I think I remember this hotel. But that, that, that cell phone use for, <laughs> uh, I guess they mean on the, uh, nonetheless. But these, these people don't remember that, man. And then, like, uh, what is that? Zachariah, 11 and 5. These people, hey, they oppressors hold themselves not guilty, man. You tell a nigga we was just in slavery in 1850, a nigga ain't gonna give a fuck, and the cracker ain't gonna give a fuck either, man. Let bygones be bygones. Nah, that's not how this shit gonna work. All right, bygones is gonna be bygones after that, uh, uh, this numbers happen, as far as blood being cleansed with blood, man. You know how much blood was shed down her nose? I'm talking about with the slaves, the slave trades alone, working on fucking sugar canes in the hot ass heat. I've been down her, uh, about two years ago, man, it was hot as fuck. I'm like, damn, I don't understand how the, how we fucking took it. They fucking worked the shit out of us, man. But everybody forgets about that history. And not only that, they try to eradicate that history out of the historical books. All right? And Jake, Jake don't care, man. And that's the thing, man. The Lord fucking Esau up, man. All right? So, hey, imagine 1850s being a slave, being pulled on the back of these damn horses, man. All right? Straight up. But this is history nobody talks about no more, man. Straight up. Now who you got flooding the streets? Tour tourism. Tourists. All right? Hey, these curses are coming off of Jake and, hey, and falling upon these Edomites. Call Lord and you how about some out shot, man. Straight up, man. Because I'm telling you, the type of shit they did to us down here, and we're going to do to them double fold. Like uh, uh, Revelations 18 speaks of. All right? Hey, Lamentations 4. Hey, this cup is about to pass through you, Esau, Edom. All right? Do you know how it feels to think you free and the motherfucker take you? And you gone in this captivity for fucking 12 years. I don't see your wife, your children. Lord knows what your wife would have did in them 12 years. And now on top of that, Solomon Northup got a lucky ass story. Okay? Because imagine how many slaves got taken that were free. All right? Well, imagine how many free men, so-called, were free. All right, Shalom. And like, uh, like I was saying, Salaki, the video had cut out. <laughs> um, he, got, he got a lucky story. So imagine slaves that were so-called free, they got taken against their real. And never got freed again, although they were supposedly free and they had their walking papers, so to speak. All right. Imagine how many uh, Solomon North ups it didn't get free. That's a, that's really a harsh reality to comprehend. Okay. And that should tell you right there. No matter how much Esau say you free, you ain't free. All right, because. Well, what's going to happen? Martial law, Jake's trouble. You, hey, you, you Negroes about to f find out. Y'all about to find out, man, who, who this Edomite is, man. All right? The devil's going to, hey, what was that? Revelations 12, man. He know he have it but a short time. And he about to come down fucking hard upon the saints. Okay? Straight up. So, hey, this Edomite has a lot to pay for, man. All right, like, uh, what was it, Habakkuk 2? Yeah, and Micah 2 and 2? All right, this man, his desires can't be fulfilled. They're like hell, man. They're like fucking hell. Okay? And his, his goal now is to make everybody a, a fucking slave, man. Not only you Israelites, that's just who he hates the most, but the rest of you people.
It's called the New World Order. All right? One World Government, the RFID chip, which when you when you put that all into a person, they, they're your servant. And spiritually, that's what Esau is getting ready to do. Okay? Like this, like the whole coronavirus. You, shit. Well, wait till they quarantine or shut down a lot of the urban places, man. Okay? And you say, well, I'm American. I'm free. I should be able to get... Nah, they don't give a fuck about that. Okay? So, hey... Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, this was fucking 1853. <laughs> we wasn't, hey, we was just in slavery not too long ago, man. That that should really sink hard with a lot of you Israelites, man. Because this story was in the mid-1800s. So you tell me how long you niggas think you've been free. Because I know what Deuteronomy 2868 say. Alright? Ain't nobody, and ain't no man going to redeem us here. But the year of the Lord to redeem is coming. Which means Yahweh Bashem Shai has to come and rescue us. And it's going to be a marvelous showing. So with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Makar Kadash. That will honor the other apostles and great millstone salutations to the elect, whoever you may be. Bye, bye, bye.